Hey YouTube, this is bittersweet because this is the last palette, the last video in this series and um, because I'm an Aquarius, I am drawn to blues. So this is my blue and black um, with some gray shadows, um, my more cool tones, my deeper um, colors. This series has been very fun because Two reasons. Number one, it has helped me to kind of see the colors that I have um, when I'm explaining them to you and I'm flipping them over. I'm just as surprised as you are or, you know, I don't know. So, um, excuse me, the ones that I use on a kind of everyday basis, I know those, but the ones that I need to really get in and use, totally oblivious to. So, this is going to help me be able to shop my stash. Um, and I told myself, You'll see seven series, of course, seven eyeshadow palettes. That is it for me. Um, I am not going to put... I have a few sh a few palettes that have like one or two missing, um, and that would be it if I did put anything in there. And they must go in those specific ones. Like I believe my shimmery uh, brownies and greens, you know, I could throw a couple more, two more in there. I already have one that I need to put in there, um, but it was just one that I lost and found again. So um, this is it for me. This is my cutoff until I start emptying out some of these palettes, um, excuse me, pans and using them. I am not going to be purchasing any more eyeshadows um, to, to drop into these. It's just not going to happen, and I've told myself that. Now, there are a few staples that I must say. If you see me doing some haul videos, I am going to always keep my staples on hand, um, such as patina, such as Swiss chocolate, such as, you know, when my um, humid gets down, when my carbon gets down, things like that. I'm going to purchase again my down brown. Those are must-haves. Those are staples. So I'm going to be getting those again. But just to be buying them just because, oh, they're pretty, no. Because, again, MAC tends to take as one color and they will tweak it just a little bit and put a new name on it. And you get it home and you're like, oh, hell, this goes with, this matches. So I'm done with that. Um, unless I just swatch something and it's like, <gasps> like I hear chimes and bells and they don't have anything else out there. I'm going to get it. So, But for the most part, I'm not. <laughs> so this is the blue and the gray and black palette. It makes sense, I guess, to do it this way. Um, but I love this palette. I think it is just so Aquarian of me. Um, so let's get started because this video is already, like, crazy long. Um, the first one is Talent Pool. and This came out in um, a collection. Love, love, love this color. I think it's gorgeous. Um, the next one is... I think this is... I don't pair it. Something pair it, I think. Because I get very confused because this is Blue Calm, which is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so it's a pro color. It's so buttery smooth. I love it. Um, this is Fresh Water. I've never used Fresh Water, but I love it. It's pretty. These are all very, very pretty colors. The next one is Tilt. I'm really loving this blue palette, I guess, more than I thought I was because all of these I'm like, ah, gotta have. Um, Moon's Reflection. It's a must have. Um, now, as we get into the grays, they're okay. Night Divine. It's a nice color to have. Will I purchase it again? Probably not, but it is a nice color to have. Um, next one is, you know, everyone loves this color. It's Deep Truth. And it's a gorgeous blue, gorgeous indigo blue. Um, definitely a must. The next one is Prussian. And I believe this is a square, a matte square. Super soft, super, super buttery. Love this color. Awesome color to have. Um, the next one is Contrast. Love this one. A young lady used Sushi Flower Contrast and Vex on Me. Gorgeous. I wore it to the Jennifer Hudson concert. Gorgeous. The next one is Forgery. And it's just a very chunky silver 
white silver thingy. It's crazy just how much it, how bright it is. Um, the next one is Silver Ring. I really like Silver Ring. I think it's kind of one of those staples. There's staples in eyeshadows you should have, and I think that that's definitely a nice color to have. Um, holidays, New Year's, things like that. The next one is Soot. And I like this color too. I believe it's a pro color. Um, this next color is typographic. And I think this is a matte squared and it's buttery as well. It's a nice matte gray. And last if you don't like black, typographic is very nice because it's not as dark as you know a black would be. Um, this next one is carbon. And I often use that for my crease just to deepen colors. But that's pretty much that palette. Um, again, any of these you want to see specific looks on, definitely let me know. Um, I might upload all of these videos today and just kind of get them out the way so they're there. Um, you all might get tired of me. I hope not. But if you do, get over it. I'm here. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I so appreciate it. Thank you for sticking by me. Thank you for subscribing to me. I miss you when I don't make videos. I miss your comments. I miss watching your videos. Um, but my life is just really crazy right now. So trying to get everything, you know, um, together and situated and get a flow going. So I kind of know what's going on. Is It's been challenging. So thank you again so much for watching. I love you all. I hope you all have a great weekend. It is Labor Day. Enjoy your day off if you have it off. Um, if you're working, don't work too hard. And drop me a line anytime. All right, bye-bye. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram because I post a lot of pictures on there just with makeup and life and stuff. So get at me.